Lee is live this noon in Catonsville, where President Obama is making a historic visit. Lynn? That's right, Jess. It is rainy, it is chilly, but that did not stop people from gathering to be here to witness this historic trip, the president's first visit to an American mosque while in office. WJZ has complete coverage of this event. Maggie McCorkle is standing by. She has people excited to catch a glimpse of the president as he arrived in Baltimore County. But first, we go to WJZ investigator Mike Halgren with more on the importance of this trip as well as why they chose this mosque. Mike. Lynn, one reason is the diversity and the influential nature of the community here. The president hopes to send a message of tolerance. Right now, he is in a closed door meeting with 13 influential religious leaders. President Obama's historic visit to the Islamic Society of Baltimore is his first to a mosque in the United States during his time in office. He left Washington for Baltimore County, hoping to listen and send a message of tolerance at a time when Muslim Americans say they're facing increasing discrimination and violence. This is a mosque that has, that I think represents the diversity of the Muslim population uh, in America, uh, and hopefully that will be evident from the uh, audience that the president speaks to. America has turned from the Lord Jesus Christ. Outside, a civil protester shouted anti-Muslim comments through a bullhorn. People like you just come out here, twist religion, and use it to benefit your own oh, views. Quit hating God. And spread quit hating God. Stupid, Jesus pointless said, rhetoric. The Islamic Society only got word of the presidential visit less than one week ago. The dinner table conversations in this area have definitely been focused on the visit and uh, what it means for the Muslim community, especially in light of the spike in Islamophobia and anti-Muslim rhetoric that we've been seeing lately. Muslims have also come under fire during a charged election season, with presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson saying a Muslim is unfit to be president, and Donald Trump calling for a ban on all Muslims entering the United States. We have no idea if they love us or if they hate us. We have no idea if they want to bomb us. The president's visit is expected to last three hours. The president arrived a little less than an hour ago. He is supposed to make remarks momentarily before a crowd of 200 people. Live in Baltimore County, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Lynn. Mike, thank you. Well, the streets were crowded with cars and many people waited outside to catch a glimpse of the president as his motorcade arrived. Let's go live to Megan McCorkle with more reaction from some of those people. Megan. Well, Lynn, that motorcade passed here about 45 minutes ago, driving through this small Catonsville neighborhood. And you can see crowds are still gathered out here on the street, waiting for when the president leaves. Some of them carrying signs, trying to send a message to the president. Now, take a look at this video that we shot just about 45 minutes ago. This is when the president's motorcade came through. A lot of the neighbors were out here cheering, trying to wave to the president. You can see he was surrounded by Secret Service, armed Secret Service members, as well as members of the Baltimore County Police, but for some that live in this neighborhood, they say they had to come out and see this because it could be a once in a lifetime experience. I've been waiting for this moment a long time because I've always wanted to see the president. I work near DC, so I've seen the motorcade go past before, but it's never been in my neighborhood. And back out here live, you can see crowds are still gathered here in the street, waiting for when the president's motorcade passes again as he heads back to the White House. That's expected to happen later this afternoon. And police, of course, warn people there will be several road closures throughout this area as the motorcade comes back and heads back to Washington. We're live in Catonsville, I'm Megan McCorkle. Lynn, back to you. Megan, thank you. And I can tell you where I'm standing by this entrance of the mosque. Most of the crowd has dispersed, just a few people still standing around. So we'll have much more coverage of the president's visit. Again, he's expected to be here for about three hours. We'll have all that for you live right here on WJZ. Jess, back to you. All right, Lynn, thanks so much. President Obama is expected to speak at the mosque around one this afternoon. WJZ will be streaming his address live on CBSBaltimore.com.